This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Athleisure is the move. Ever since the world went to shit and staying indoors was the norm, we've all developed an appreciation for the outdoors. And so because of that, today I'm gonna show you how to actually make athleisure look good at the gym and in your casual street fits and not look like 2016 Johnny. So what even is athleisure? Is it looking like an athlete? Well, you just gotta think of it like performance wear for any form of physical activity. That being lifting, calisthenics, bouldering, hiking, etc. And we're gonna get into this more later on in the video about how athleisure and tech wear are actually quite related. Well, first off, I know you guys are probably thinking, do I really need to be looking good at the gym? I'm just here to lift. I used to just wear whatever I wanted, which meant really bad outfits at the gym because I'm out here trying to make these gains, man. I don't care what people think. I'm just here to get a lift in. But also as I get older as an adult and I have more responsibilities, the gym isn't as important to me anymore. And for me, especially it's easier to focus on work than exercise. And so because of that, I've developed a little philosophy similar to skating. And that is, if you look good, you're gonna feel good. And if you feel good, you're gonna wanna, you know, exercise, take advantage of looking good. And if you actually look good at the gym, rock climbing or whatever you guys do for physical training, then you're just gonna perform better. You might hit a PR, you might go from a V3 to a V4, which just means more progress, theoretically. So nothing helps me and older Johnny get more motivated to go to the gym than having a good outfit. And this is what a lot of people recommend whenever people have a New Year's resolutions. They always recommend to buy a new gym outfit. It kind of motivates them to start hitting the gym. But yeah, I made gains without having any cool outfits at the gym because at the end of the day, instead of focusing all on your looks, you should probably focus on your form and focus on progressing. And so let's dive into the essentials that I would recommend, starting off with joggers, which should only exist in the gym. I think we can all agree that khaki joggers back from 2015 it's pretty whack and we all did it, but I'd recommend any fitness jogger from your favorite brand. But my favorite ones are the Nike Tech Fleece Jogger and the Strap Cargos from Aesthetic Revolution. ASRV for short. You don't have to go with these, but I like rocking these in street fits instead of those really tight joggers that can strictly and only be worn at the gym. This way you get your money's worth. You can wear at the gym, you can wear outside of the gym. Shorts cut above the knee is preferred. For me, I think anything past your knee is just considered a casual short in my opinion. But I have these ones from Lululemon and ASRV as well, which has quite a lot of function being 3M reflective, having zipper pockets and built-in spandex with a pocket so you can keep your phone there on a run and it doesn't flop out. And then for the tops, any form of muscle tees that aren't cut like a wife beater or a stringer. You want a wide cut but still shows off the arm for mobility reasons but also you could get short sleeves, long sleeves, hoodies, whatever you guys like depending on the season. I would just make sure that they are performance tees meaning that they're sweat wicking, anti-odor, breathable. Trust me, it's worth it. But how should it fit, Johnny? I'll be honest, I stay away from super fitted. It's just not my thing. While really tight clothes is more accepted at the gym, I think you should only get a fitted tee if it's a performance tee because it's cut to fit a workout and you're going to get full mobility, which there's a lot of shirts out there that have that. And for sneakers, you're definitely going to want a runner. And this is totally up to you. I still like the Ultra Boost 1.0 back from 2014. The current ones are cool too, but you can go for the Nike Pegasus model or the Infinity Reacts, Vaporflies, New Balance, Solomon, whatever brands you like just roll with it but don't sleep on the vans most vans models are really flat because they have that vulcanized sole for skateboarding so they're actually great for deadlifting and pistol squatting trust and then there are plenty of other accessories that you can get like compression pants aka leggings for dudes i mean do they actually do anything i don't know someone let me know a cap duffel bag maybe a sling bag any windbreaker are all pretty dope so these are the basics that make up an athleisure fit obviously these are meant for the gym and training all that but you can take it to a different direction and incorporate it into your current style. So here are some pointers, things I think about whenever it comes to styling it. When it comes to the fitness vibe, you wanna focus on color blocking. I think this is the only time that guys actually embrace color in their wardrobe. So this is good practice for you. For me, I think white sneakers make a massive difference when it comes to your athleisure fits. And you guys already know me, I like white sneakers, black pants, any colored shirt. That's a color combo that always works no matter what your style is, give it a shot. But you could also throw on any of your streetwear jackets on top of your current athleisure leisure fit. That way it kind of dilutes that yo I go hard 24-7, 365, no days off type of vibe, <laughs> giving it a more street vibe. And the same applies if you swap it out for one of your regular sneakers or a different cap, it's going to water down that fitness vibe to it. And this is a vibe you don't see as often as you would think. Most people either lean into the fitness and athleisure wear or just lean into streetwear and they don't ever mix them. But that's not what clothes are. Clothes are meant to be mixed and matched. Some is gonna look good, some is gonna look bad, but you wanna experiment with it and you're gonna come up with some pretty cool outfits. So this is a great way to switch it up if you're bored of your current style. So let me show you a bunch of fits I came up with. This is tailored towards the gym and outside of the gym and you guys get to have some inspiration, I guess, maybe. I don't know, let's check it out. Let's start off with this one right here. Pretty simple gym outfits, nothing too crazy, but bam. Now we have sort of a tech wear outfit, quote unquote tech wear. Like I said, tech wear and athleisure are quite related. Tech wear being a derivative of athleisure. 
you guys heard the essentials for athleisure well actually a lot of those are essentials for quote unquote tech wear but since this is geared more towards the fitness lane i would consider it active wear basically tech but not as crazy or light tech wear for spring and summer since you won't be in full shell jackets every day frugal and i made a whole video about this a few years back go check out his video so if you guys didn't know tech wear is where performance and aesthetics meet athleisure focusing mainly on performance and that's why they're so related athleisure focuses mainly on performance while tech wear bridges that gap of performance and aesthetics so let's start with the shirt it's got a no stink zinc applied to it so your bo isn't being dispersed everywhere there's air vents in the armpit area and it's super breathable and light the sweats they're cut a lot different it has a full side zipper for extra storage but they are not waterproof because performance and functionality doesn't equal waterproof everything by the way but when you throw on a water repellent jacket like this north face resolve jacket it elevates the look adding more aesthetics and performance to the fit most of you guys ask about what tech wear pieces to buy you probably actually have have some in your wardrobe already but anyways throwing on the sling bag definitely makes it lean more towards tech because you're not rocking it at the gym how many times have i said tech jesus it's for city living you know extra security for your belongings so you don't get pickpocketed and all that but how about a street fit well i like to throw on the forces with the tech fleece and honestly they are meant to go together though these sweatpants are a jogger the cut of the tech fleece sweats actually complements the sneaker having a more wide cut around the thigh area and it's proportionally satisfying if you threw on skinny joggers no no then i've got on a black hoodie green dad hat and i threw on a gray oversized bomber jacket from alpha industries and this is my everyday type of fit you know picking up groceries walking my dog it's simple and it looks pretty good feel free to use any jacket by the way i just like bombers and if it's winter swap it for leather sneakers glasses and an overcoat and you my friend have a casual winter fit now if you're watching this peak summer check this out all black with the shorts crew socks and vans then top it off with an airism boxy tee from uniqlo with a cap and you my friend have a pretty decent summer fit that's comfortable breathable and still looks like it hits the athleisure vibe for sure and you can always top it off with a sling bag for the final touch to make it more of an urban fit and if you want something lighter, you guys saw me rock this fit last year. Swap it out for the Nigers and a white shirt in the same airism tee with a black cap and you're rocking a contrasting look that always looks great. Feel free to throw on a sling as well. Obviously, you can swap the top and pants for anything you want. I dig this tech fleece crew neck and a black hoodie. Just depends on the weather. Now, this is my hiking type of fits. I threw on a Lululemon Pulse Motivation Tank or any tank of choice that's breathable, the ACG Deploy Cargos, Mountain Fly Gore-Tex sneakers, a sling, and you've got the perfect hiking fit for whenever it gets hot. And in your bag, you can carry your shell jacket, your snacks and all that if it gets a little wet. I'm waiting for New York to warm up a bit before I scratch my hiking itch. But in the meantime, I'm going to scratch my creative itch by learning a new skill with the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with millions of people who also want to scratch their creative itch and learn any useful skill that they want. I'm constantly checking out new classes because I really enjoy learning or refining a skill because like you, I'm a lifelong learner. There's an endless amount of classes for anyone and everyone. I know you guys would probably like photography, graphic design, videography classes, but also if you want to start a business, start a clothing brand, learn how to cook or play an instrument, Skillshare share has your back so i recently checked out this street and documentary photography class by andre wagner the whole concept of this class is capturing the moments nothing staged something i want to start incorporating with my instagram pics and one of the things i like about this class is him talking about framing how you think about it keep thinking about it so you can refine it over time and stop putting the subject always dead center <clears throat> johnny you better listen putting them off center oblique shots and so much more the class is really short and super helpful definitely recommend checking it out and since you guys watch my channel the first 1000 of you guys that click the link in the description are going to get a free trial of skillshare premium membership and afterwards would be ten dollars a month do us both a favor check out skillshare learn a new skill it's going to help me out as well and thank you again skillshare for sponsoring this video you guys see how diverse athleisure is no more of this okay mm -mm. i'm just playing you do you if you made it this far comment train legs so when people see this video they can get that reminder all right I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. We are getting closer to normality. Thank goodness. Um, get your exercises in. Go explore the outdoors. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at Ty. You can also follow me on TikTok. And thank you guys for watching the video. I'm out. Peace.